well, well, well. Actually, it turned out to be a minor cardiopulmonary infarction. They're going to keep the guy here for observation, but he's going to be fine. Well, I bet you saved his life. I don't think so. Paramedics do that. But thanks for the vote of confidence in the faith. Got it. Is this a private conversation? Well, oh, doctor, no. Uh, just shop talk. Hi, Dr. Tusky. Hi, Ryan. Uh, do you have a minute? Uh, I, I have to be going. I'll, I'll see you later, Dad. Bye, honey. Don't bump into anything. Your daughter is a very cute kid. Yeah, I think so, too. Thank you. Takes after her dad. No, uh, fortunately, she looks like her mother. Oh. <laughs> I'm very contemporary. Did you know that? Contemporary? Hmm, direct. Yeah, somehow I did. I like contemporary women. Actually, they fascinate me. Hmm. Want to be fascinated tonight? Uh, tonight? Hmm. I have a column that I have to get out. It's a deadline. Oh, well, there's no problem. Another time, perhaps. You can count on it. I, I gotta run. See you later. <laughs> you certainly will. Do you believe Dr. Tasky? <laughs> Do you yes. want to get the door for me? Yeah, sure. Of course, I believe her. She's a very hot woman. I'm not talking about her look, silly. I'm talking about her style. What, uh, what's wrong with her style? Well, she sure has got an eye out on Dad. If you ask me, I think he's a lucky man. She doesn't make any attempt at hiding it, does she? It's good. Oh, do you have any change? Oh, no. Well, that's what I like to hear. A modern woman. Maybe, uh... This. Maybe you could um, get some lessons from her or something. Well, I think she's planning on giving Dad some lessons. Well, you should check it out. You know, it could be very, very interesting. Great. Um, I was wondering, uh, would it be all right if I uh, saw you tonight? <laughs> no, not tonight, DJ. I, I have a lot of schoolwork. I mean, it's been busy, but I'm having a great time. That's cool. Oh, student council. <laughs> I mean, what a trip that is. I mean, take yesterday, the, you know, meeting, for example. I mean, they have no idea about Robert's rules for order. The place was mass chaos. Why don't you just get this Robert dude to uh, straighten them all out? <laughs> well, there, there's no Robert. Actually, I'm sure there was one, but right now it's just like a parliamentary procedure. It's a format for conducting orderly meetings. Mm. Excuse me for saying something stupid. DJ, don't be that way. I think it's cute. Yeah, it's me, old DJ, cute and dumb. So you, um, you like going to school. Oh, yeah, I mean, being a senior is the best. I mean, they're, they're, they're actual underclassmen that envy me. And then there are the people who come in to counsel you about colleges, and there are the college guys who come in and try and recruit you to their schools. I mean, I feel like such a big deal. So, uh, you're, you're planning to go to college? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, you have to go to college if you ever... I, I mean, most people, but I mean, you don't have to go. Well, Ryan, spare me the uh, high school dropouts that all of a sudden became successful. I don't need to hear it, okay? I really didn't mean it the way it sounded. I know. Okay, I'll shut up. How's that? Um, how was your day? I was just full of excitement. Yeah? Yeah, I went down to the Bowery, had a council meeting with the winos. But we did use Robert's rule of order, though. And uh, then the Fourth, Fourth Avenue guys for, who own the street down there, they, they came down to interview people for their school. DJ, what's the matter with you? Well, look, ever since you started going to school again, ever since that, you've just, all you've been talking about is college and, you know, your pep meetings and, you know, council meetings and all this stuff. And I'm not interested about it at all. So all, all your college stuff, just keep it to yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. 